So one match to go at the ATP Tour Finals and it is the Italian Yannick Sinner made it through his semi-final against Kasper Ruud with ease and he faces now Taylor Fritz for a second time. That's right, and before we go anywhere, make sure to smash a like, subscribe to the channel. We have our two finalists, and they're from the same group. That's right, Yannick Sinner, Taylor Fritz. They already played each other in the Ilya Nastasi group, but they had semi-finals in which they were completely different in the way they played out. Yannick Sinner made it look easy as he has done this whole entire tour finals. He defeated Kasper Ruud 6-1, 6-2 in the semi-finals to reach back-to-back -back finals in Turin, ninth final of the year and 69 wins and only six losses in 2024. What a year for Yannick Sinner. Going to be the heavy favourite in the final tomorrow versus Taylor Fritz, a rematch of the US Open final and also beat him on Tuesday night as well. So let's not forget about that. There has been many, many people singing the praises of Yannick Sinner. We've got Ole, 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 Sinner, Sinner. And the crowd have been going wild for Yannick Sinner this week. Obviously it being in Italy, obviously in Turin. And the crowd are literally on their feet and he's having to soak it all up. The crowd singing his name and he becomes the first Italian to reach back-to-back -back finals at the ATP finals. The entire stadium recognizes how much it means to Italian tennis. And Yannick just stood there in awe. Unforgettable scenes. Really was. I mean, you've got to realize this guy... He is an absolute superstar over in Italy right now. And he's on the front page of every single newspaper. So, I mean, it, what a brilliant moment for Italian tennis. And the fact that he has continued it. It's not just a one-off. It's not just like a here today, gone tomorrow. He is solidified at the top of the rankings. He has had the best year out of anybody on the tour this year and it's been literally just an incredible tour finals look at this or what he's been able to achieve such such simple sets it was 6364 in his first match 6464 the second match 6364 the third match and then even easier in the semi final with a 6162 not even been close not even had to go to a 7-5 or even a tie break and it's the first time since 1983 that someone reaches the final without being pushed to a 5-5 in any sets played domination from Yannick Sinner and it's a worrying prospect for who he meets in the final because he's one of the victims that we've already seen already it is none other than Taylor Fritz Taylor Fritz, he took out Sasha Zverev again. How does he keep doing it? I mean, uh, Sasha Zverev really must hate playing Taylor Fritz right now because uh, Taylor Fritz defeated him today 6 3, uh, 3 6, and then a tie break to finish it 7 3 in the tie break. Really close, but Taylor Fritz proven he has up the level this year and he ends Zverev's eight match winning streak. And he will play for the biggest title of his career tomorrow. Obviously, this would be massive for him. We've seen other players win this uh, this title. We've seen Zverev win it twice. We've seen Tsitsipas win it. We've seen uh, many, many other players win this title. Dimitrov, another player. Can he be another player to get his name on the trophy? Obviously, there's some other greats in there. I'm just naming some people who have won it just a couple of times or even just once. Djokovic is in there. Federer is in there as well. Can he be a person to have won it more times than Nadal? Because he's never won it. As Gil Gross is saying here, since becoming a top 15 player, Fritz is 4-1 and one against Zverev. I mean, that's really impressive. And Fritz has been the lower-ranked player in all 12 meetings. And leads the head-to-head -head now 6-5. Uh, and Gil saying, I'm excluding Labour Cup. So 2024, there's been Wimbledon, the US Open, ATP Finals uh, to Fritz, and only Rome to Sasha Zverev. 
pretty insane. Uh, he really, really has turned up in the big matches. And this one I, was no different. Really showing that he can battle it out in a final set tie break. That's something we didn't used to see from Taylor Fritz. And now th this is his moment. People just thought, oh, maybe some other Americans are coming through. Maybe Ben Shelton's going to be the big guy. Taylor Fritz has really silenced the critics this year. And he's established himself as the best American male on the tour. An interesting stat Vance brought up today saying Lorenzo Musetti was 5-0 and combined in 2024 against these two US Open finalists on court right now. 3-0 and versus Fritz, Monte Carlo, Wimbledon and the Olympics. And 2-0 and versus Zverev, Olympics and Vienna. What a weird statistic. <laughs> I like it though, Vance. Cheers for that. Uh, this one from Ollie saying the last four Fritz Zverev matches, we were just talking about them there, and you can see them. Nitto ATP Finals, Laver Cup, US Open, and Wimbledon all go into Fritz. Pretty crazy, that. And Ben Rothenberg just jumping on the bandwagon, saying what a year for Fritz. Um Unless Medvedev makes a big push in the week one of 2025, tough because they're excluded from the United Cup. 2025 Australian Open will feature a Fritz quarter, which is amazing. That would be the first US man to have one since 2007 in Wimbledon. That was Andy Roddick. Well, the final is taking place tomorrow. It will be at 5 p.m. And Yannick Sinner leads the head-to-head 3-1. The only time Fritz won was in their first meeting. That was three years ago. And since then, Yannick Sinner has been the victor. And all the times they played have been on hard court. The only time on indoor hard court was just a few days ago. And it was a convincing 6-4-6-4. Six, four, six, four. Will that change, though, in this next match? That's the big question we're asking ourselves. So let's get to a prediction. Sometimes when players play each other very close together, the person who lost has a chance to realise what went wrong and make adjustments. He'll have gained some more confidence beating Sasha Zverev as well. Not an easy person to beat on an amazing run who just won the Paris Masters. I had him going all the way to the final to win the whole thing. So I'm really impressed by what Taylor Fritz has done. Is it enough? to take out somebody who just beat you in straight sets? Sadly, I don't think it is. And I think JG will be correct in his prediction at the beginning of the ATP finals. And I think Yannick Sinner will pick up the trophy finally and lift it aloft in front of the Italian faithful. And I think he will do it in straight sets. But that's just my prediction. Tell me yours in that comment section below. Do you think Fritz can turn this around and create the upset? Or is it just plain sailing for Yannick Sinner? Doesn't even go to a tie break again. And nice and easy. Takes the trophy home and wraps up a fantastic year of tennis. I want to know your thoughts. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.